hello guys welcome to the another video in this video I'm gonna show you some important basic stuff about the topographical test you saw my too many videos and uh, I explained the city doors tunnels exam questions but one students came to me yesterday she's a lady she does not know anything about the route planning questions so I really surprised and I thought I should make this video as well so if you know about the topographical test it's up to you if you want to watch this video but it's going to be really basic stuff it means how to draw the line and uh, to recognize the roads to recognize the one way so I'm gonna speak about really basic stuff so a lot of people they asking me how they can watch my other videos so I'm gonna show you how you can watch my other videos so just go to YouTube and write it down S A P C O. Then just click enter. So you can see this is my picture. So you just click on my picture. Then uh, go to playlist. Then go to uh, T F L topographical test. If you scroll down, so which is over here. So T F L topographical test. So just click on that. Then you will be able to see my all videos. In, yeah on the right hand side you can see so you can choose any videos then you can watch it there's a tunnels there's city roads exam questions yeah okay let's uh, give me the introduction of the topographical test so you need this book as well but in the exam they're gonna provide you the book you no need to take into the exam but for pre uh, preparation you must need this book because the 25 question is going to become from this exam sorry for this from this book so you have to do preparations and you should have a book so it's going to be 25 questions so the question should be look like this so the question should be look like this You're asking for the grid reference and the page number yeah so this is going to, is going to be 25 questions so you have to do with, with the book I make one video to how to find these question I ex completely explain about book questions uh, I'm gonna leave the link of that video in my description I means if you go to YouTube if you're watching this video then go to YouTube and uh, let's say you're watching this video then you're gonna scroll down if you in the mobile it's gonna be same thing as well so you can see this is a description so say click show more so you can say TFL test TFL topographical test so you will be able to see the link of this my this video which I explain how you can find uh, the question from the book so if you're gonna watch this video trust me you don't need any help for the book questions uh, just do that video and do one more mock test I put on my videos as well like you can see this exam questions uh, so I put this fully mock test so first is uh, a to Z question if you can see uh, like this one this is a question just uh, first do watch the other video then do this work test you can be okay with the book questions hope so you understand now so this is going to be the 25 question now talk about the route planning this is going to be the four questions yeah so I'm just speaking about my students their students who don't know anything about the route planning what is route planning and how to draw the line and they don't know how to recognize the building how to recognize the tunnels how to recognize the roads what is white roads what is yellow roads so let me speak about briefly so in route planning question we start from the green you can you will be able to see the green and the red in the real exam so you start from the green always and finish on right guys so now so when we traveling from green to red so we have to follow the rule the rules which is the most direct route so we have to do the most direct route in the real exam then we have to travel on the roads some people they travel in this uh, in on the building as well so you can see this is the road if you see this black lane and this is the gap and then there is another uh, black lane so you can see this is a black lane 
look this is a black lane this is a black lane this is the boundary of the road you can see over here this is a black lane here and there's a gap it means you can turn here so the black lane is a boundary of the road it could be the main road a road so this road is a119 so you can see the writing in the middle of the road it means this is the name of the road so if you drawing the line so you can cross this writing is going to be okay is fine look if you want to draw the line so i'm going to stay on the left hand side like this like this so i'm going to draw the line so make sure you're not touching this black line because this is the boundary of the road like a curb when if you're driving on the main road or on the street you're not hitting the curbs you, you don't you don't like to sit to hitting the curbs so same here as well we draw the line we're not hitting the black lines so we stay on the left hand side so now uh, if you want to turn so you can't go this way here look this is not road uh, that uh, lady was doing this mistake she was traveling over here so this is not road this is a building so you can see this white road this is a road you can travel over here this is the road no we can't go that way because this is a different color where you see tree cl this road is closed and this is a building so we can only travel in the white uh, lanes at the moment but if you want to go straight you can make sure you not look no i can travel over here now i'm in in this couple of minutes i'm going to just try to explain you the roads and the buildings so now you can carry on no you cannot travel like this like this like this like this there's no road over here you can see this is not road this is a sign this is a different sign this is not road and here this is look like the building is over here so try to recognize the white look this is a white road this is a road and this is little roundabout so when you do the roundabout go round round around the roundabout look this road over here here now this road is open it means we can cross this one and we can get to get to that road but if you want to go straight now you can't go like this first because of this black line lane this this road is closed and here this is no road as well this is a road over here if you will be, if you can see this is a road okay now uh, if you go to the city there's more complication in cities because there's a lot of one ways so when you're traveling when you're drawing the line in the road so make sure you're not going into the one way as well let's go to the city now this color a lot of people confuse about the color of the road as well they a they just color they just mention some is restricted areas like uh, you can't drive there if you go to the Oxford Street, they are completely closed now. They are only for ambulance or cyclist, pedestrian. So this is a pink color. So this is a purple color. Some people say purple. Some people say uh, blue. So this color is restricted. In this route plan equation, you cannot use this color. Means you cannot draw the line. If you go like this, like this, you're gonna get zero marks. You cannot do like this. But in other roads, like this road. Regent Street you can cross this road you can draw the line and other white road is going to be okay you can drive as well you can draw the line as well okay so in the city there's a lot of buildings as well like you can say a lot of people they might do like this they are driving like this look this is not going to be okay you're going to get zero marks firstly uh, this is a building you can't go through the building as well and uh, here you can see this road is closed there's no road over here and over here there's no road as well so we can only travel like this look this is the road here here like this this is a white road we can go straight we can go straight like this now this is one way here so we you should follow one way so let's say if you're coming from here let's say so you can see this one way is telling you you go that way so you can't come this way so then look uh, this is one way means you cannot come to this one way as well because this one way showing you there's no entry over here you can't come this way okay so other things other thing is going to be the this black sign is a sign of uh, underground so this you can cross this one 
this only sign like a writing on the road so this black sign you you can cross is no is no problem and a lot of people uh, they speak about uh, a lot with the pink color so pink color you can cross the pink color. let's see if you coming from here so this is a pink color you can go this way you can use the pink color if you're going coming from this way because pink color is a conjunction charges zone so you can go left you can go right over here yeah so pink color is not a problem you can draw the line into that sometime there is a look you can see this edge if you're coming from here so you can hit this edge as well because this only sign so like you can see the writing this is all writing on the road so you can hit the writing as well because you're just driving you are planning the roads so uh, it's fine hitting this uh, writing and other things a lot of people they confuse around uh, the parks as well look if you this color you can't go to this color as well this is around the park this only for pedestrian then you can't drive into a park as well look there's no road over here so how you can do it and uh, make sure you can't look this is closed this is little bit space is only for pedestrian or cyclist motorcyclist cannot come into this road you will be able to see as well and uh, let's see if you're coming like this if you're coming just draw the, on the on the roads like this this is the road now now you can't go further because this is not a road this is different color this different color if you're gonna do like this you're gonna get zero marks so try to just draw the lines on the road try to recognize the road get familiar so go to the training center or you can i have this map if you have a pc or laptop you can come to my laptop like this you will be able to draw the line and you can practice then you will be able to recognize the roads and the parks and the purple color like in this color you can't go into this color as well and there's a lot of one ways just when you're driving look where if you're coming from here i have to follow this one way like this so then I can go straight, I can turn left over here as well. And if you coming from here, let's say, then this one way is telling you do not come to the one way. So you can't do like this. Some people do like this, then they go like this as well. Can you do over here? No, there's no road you can see. There's no road over here. There is no road over here as well. Yeah. So please try to understand these things. It's going to be four questions like this. So some road is small. You're gonna get sometimes you get tunnels sometimes you don't sometimes you get longer route sometimes you get city so is your luck which laptop you're gonna sit on it okay sometimes we have to cross the river so there's a different ways to cross the river you will be able to see the ferry as well looks here's a ferry so sometimes your questions is your green is gonna be here so then you're gonna go around round then you're gonna be able to use the ferry as well look we can do like this because this is a ferry so we have to cross the river with the help of ferry sometime we have to use a tunnel so how you recognize tunnels so i can see if you see the first page of the book master atlas of greater london so they mention different signs look this is a broken solid line this means this is tunnels so when you use the tunnel so around the tunnels you have to be very very careful because you have to use tunnel approach to get into the tunnel to cross the river so let's say this is the black wall tunnel and uh, this is the black wall tunnel and uh, if i just circle this one and other is the road high tunnel and if i zoom this one you can see this is a solid broken line this is a sign of the tunnel as well so when you use tunnel you have to be very very careful because if you do little mistake in the tunnel you're going to lose all marks so you have to look up for the tunnel approach i mean this is the mouth of the tunnel so with this tunnel approach we can go inside the tunnel uh yes so these are the hint i try to just is basic stuff so for some people it's going to be boring but uh, i have some student which came to me then i thought i should help them uh yeah if you 
uh, one a training we provide training as well and we have very flexible rate and you can do for 10 days 15 days for these kind of people every person is different so you can log in into my system I have a 300 questions like you will be able to see you can see these are the question you can see the folders so all these folders are full of the question if you go to the let's say tunnels so this is all the tunnel questions you can log in and practice hope so you enjoy this video if you like this video please give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because i put uh, videos more often so if i'm gonna put the video you're gonna get the notification thank you so much for watching this video